In the vast expanse of a timeless place where silence ruled the outer space, ominously towering it stood, the symbol of a spirit war between the one named Lucifer and the Morning Star, the ultimate of good. Enveloped by a trillion planets, clean as lightning and hard as granite, a cosmic coliseum would host the end of the war between the Lord of sin and death and the omnipotent creator of man's first breath who will decide who forever will be the champion. audience for the fight of the ages was assembled and in place. The angels came in splendor from a star. The saints that had gone before were there, Jeremiah, Enoch, Job. They were singing the song of Zion on David's heart. The demons arrived, offensive and vile, cursing and blaspheming God, followed by their trophies. Dead and gone. Hitler, Napoleon, Pharaoh come home, tormented and vexed and grieved, waiting for their judgment from the throne. Then a chill swept through the mammoth crowd, and the demons squealed with glee as a sordid, vulgar, repulsive message was felt. Arrogantly prancing, hands held high, draped in a sparkling shroud. Trolled by demons, Satan ascended from hell. Then Satan cringed, the sinners groaned, the demons reeled in pain. As a swell of power like silent thunder rolled. With a surge of light beyond intense, illuminating the universe in resplendent glory. Appeared the Son of God. Then a persona, yes, extraordinaire, appeared in center ring. God the Father will oversee. The doom. Opening the book of life, each grandstand hushed in awe, as majestically he said, Now here's the rules. They'll be wounded for their transgressions, bruised for iniquities. When he said, By his stripes they're healed, the devil shook. He screams, Sickness is my specialty. I hate that healing junk. God said, you shut your face, I wrote the book. Then the father looked at his only son and said, You know the rules. Your blood will cleanse their sin and calm their fears. Then he pointed his finger at Satan and said, And I know you know the rules. You've been twisting them to deceive my people for years. Satan cried, I'll kill you, Christ. You will never be this friend. The demons wheezed. That's right, there ain't no way. Satan jeered. You're a dead man, Jesus. I'm on a bust you up today. Jesus said, go ahead, make my day. The bell, the crowd, the fight was on, and the devil leaped in fury. With all his evil tricks, he came undone. He 
through his jabs of hate and lust, a stab of pride and envy. But the hands that knew no sin blocked everyone. Forty days and nights they fought, and Satan couldn't touch him. Now the final blow saved for the final round. Prophetically, Christ's hands came down, and Satan struck in vengeance. The blow of death fell Jesus to the ground. The devils roared in victory, the saints shocked and perplexed, as wounds appeared upon his hands and feet. Then Satan kicked him in his side, and blood and water flowed. And they waited for the ten count of defeat. God the Father turned his head, his tears announcing Christ was dead. The ten count would proclaim the battle's end. Then Satan trembled through his sweat in unexpected horror. Yet, as God started to count, by saying, ten. Hey, hey, wait a minute, God. Nine. You're counting wrong. Eight. His eyes are Seven. His fingers are twitching. Six. Where's all this light coming from? Five. He's alive. Four. Five.